Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl 3 Season 2 Finals Losers Bracket Round 1. We've got two people who we never thought we'd see in the Losers Bracket Round 1. Absolutely unbelievable, it's Elliot versus Christopher. Not that we never thought we'd see them, that's ludicrous. They were probably both only about 55% to win their first game because, you know, all the games are pretty close. But it's still quite surprising to see them both here. And in the booth is Dimmy G, hello. Hello Jimmy, I am absolutely pumped for this one. I am... Um, I just really want to see how this one goes down because I'm a big fan of knobs and I hate Underworld and kind of want to see like how it goes down and how to play it really to be fair mm. of course a big fan of Christopher and Elliot as well so yeah really yeah, cool yeah both really good coaches to be fair both very very good coaches both Elliot was uh, qualified every single race in Chalice like the only man to qualify every single race and Crucifer won Chalice more than anyone else so like you know it's uh, two goats yeah yeah it really is it's it, this is going to be like watching Goatsy it's it's going to be amazing and uh, what's interesting here is Elliot fielding all three snotlings it's a little bit greedy isn't it you know could just field two and, and go with the goblin and, well, there's, and there's no tackle and there's 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 only two block and there's no tackle so i think that may be why yeah yeah fair fair i think i think elliot really likes maxing snotlings though like it's really good isn't it if you get the 14 and you know they're yeah. arguably just better than goblins like, anyway I, yeah i mean why would you not want them? i guess because <laughs> the overtime format and stuff but yeah yeah Ali versus Frazier. Frazier. Frazier Kane. Anyway, so here we go. We've got six guard. Brilliant, right? Four on the blockers. One on the... Is this the lineman? Yeah, so this is the lineman. Four on the blockers. One on the ogre. A leader. And then two blodgers. Love Crucifer's team. And Elliot is glorious. terrified of the no, knobs. I won't give oh, in. Glorious. Until I'm victorious. Yeah, he was terrified of knobs. I will defend. Yep. I will defend. Hello, Jim. Here's to another month of wondering, is this NAF? Thank you very much, Keith. This is this actually is NAF style, yeah. Um, so yeah, terrifying the knobs because he hasn't got the Juggernaut Roger, right? He's got the knobhead troll. You can see the customization there. <laughs> Looks brilliant. He's got the knobhead troll, but he hasn't got a rat ogre. And he's got a mighty blow and he's got the extra arms for the one turn and he's got the sidestep and two heads. So like he's got, you know, like three skills and including the stacking. So he's got like four skills dedicated to the one turn. But he doesn't have the juggernaut on the rat ogre, so yeah, that's a very good point. It's like literally um, the one team his team is not designed for, right? I guess. Yep, yep. I mean, he has got a mighty blow, and there are four knobs with AV8 plus. Yeah, so this is why he's not dackering. Normally, he would dacker. But he thinks, I have to fight him here, and I have to target the bodyguards. And to that end, maybe this is incorrect, right? To set up this mighty blow on armor 7, as much as, or armor 8 plus, as much as you want to do that, maybe he should have blitzed the, uh, and you know, blitzing stand firm is terrible. Maybe he, he really should have just sold out on it all in, and, and you know, blitzed this, blitzed this guy and fouled him, you know, like if he powered him. You know, maybe, maybe he should have really gone hyper aggressive after them. If he was gonna, you know, not dacker and go after them, uh, did he get? Did he get all three? He got two. He got two. Uh, two extra two. snotlings. <clears throat> I mean, it's. It, I, I I can't remember anyone dackering against my knobs. Mm. So I don't really know. Like, but I can't imagine it being a great team to dacker against just because of the stand firms and stuff. It's like. Yeah, not the best, but there's a lot. Of... Also, it's it's not a great team to dacker against because you would just want to abuse the armor seven linemen, don't you? Really, yeah, like, you want to thing. abuse them, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> They've got such bad players for you to kill easily that I just tend to want to kill the easy killable players. Yeah, it's Cruz tying up the mighty blow on his ogre. Mm. This roger looks like a troll. No, no, he's he's got a troll instead of the roger. That's the point. He hasn't got the juggernaut roger. If you have four knobs by now, yeah, most people would be. Bit of luck f from Cruz there. And he's starting with a foul, the mass guard foul. Oh, he sent off. Oh my god. He fails. Triple fails to one. argue the call. Triple one. Sent off. And the coach sent off. Yep. And the coach. It's Elliot on Underworld Game of Vision. 
So, the one and only. The legend. The, the Snotling Whisperer. The Snotling Whisperer, yeah. Yeah, we saw him. Why are the Snotlings so slow? Oh my god. It does oh, my the head troll. In, yeah. The troll. Doesn't yeah. eat a Snotling. Yeah. Honestly, See that? yeah, yeah. He didn't Roll eat a one. Snotling. Oh, oh wow, my god, the only red side. Oh Oof. dear. Oh dear, he's tried to fight. And now all of a sudden there's six guard. <laughs> and he's like, but, but I can't fight. <laughs> I think the terror of the knobs is just. Uh, it's upon him, isn't him. it? It's, par it's paralyzed him, yeah? yeah. Yeah, it's made him not dacker. And now all of a sudden, you know, only two block. But there is a 3D with the block. And. Uh, yeah, they've only got tiny little legs like Gadanik. Um. Yeah, honestly, if of all the changes I could make to Blood Bowl, one of the biggest would be to make Snotlings move faster. <laughs> it's so tilting. Oh, uh, yeah, in the game, Blood Bowl 3. Yeah. And, like, you'd think they'd be faster, right? Yeah, just have them scuttle about. Like, you know, have them like skinks. Have them move like skinks, even though they only move five, just so they're less fucking annoying. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> And when there's like up to six of them on the pitch at any one time as well, it's so. Like... Yeah. This is a disaster, isn't it? Now he's just got half the team based up there. And Rattle, and not Rattle, got a gutter runner on its own. And it's just absolute disaster. Yeah, it might be unfamiliar territory for Elliot as well. Mm. <laughs> This is the thing, as bad that. as the Dakar is for Underworld, the normal drive seems pretty shit as well, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's a lovely square, though. Beautiful square. The most wonderful square. Is he going to blitz the troll off? He's going to blitz the troll and chain the blitzer into the snotling. No, Ooh. he's not. Well, he no, should have no, done. He's, yeah, I think. <laughs> he should have done, in my opinion. Oh, he's going to dodge. <coughs> he's going to dodge off the troll. Interesting. Like, it is a 3 plus with a reroll, isn't it? And now he's got two blitzers that can go and hit the ball because Snotling tackle zones aren't real tackle zones. They're not real, Jim. They're not real, are they, though? They're not real. <laughs> Like that's a three four to hit the to hit the ball, isn't it? With Don. It's not it's not crazy. In fact it's easier than that. Three okay it's no. Three three. No, that's a three three three. Yeah, so now it's a three three four hit or a three or a three three two two. Might be hitting the ball. He is. Oh, he does the 3-3 three, three that way. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know if he had the movement afterwards, but... Nobs are fast, Jim. Nobs are fast. Oh, my God. And he's got the ball. And he's got the stun. Flip me. Wow. Cruz is just thinking, what's all this hype about Underworld? <laughs> well, he's he's already lost to underworld in the first round and he he, he he basically lost to them in the play-ins he just he just won the coin toss at the end so like he you know he didn't beat them in the play in, in the play-ins um, and i think he lost to them as well so i think he's lost to them twice and drawn to them <laughs> so you know he's had a bit of problem but the problems he had were against juggernaut rogers and obviously yeah. that, that lack of juggernaut roger really hurting Elliot right now Maybe a lack of in, uh, a lack of experience for Elliot on that one. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, he just he just panicked about the knobs, and maybe he should have maybe he should have just had confidence that knobs are actually rubbish, and uh, and just played normally. Who knows? There's a confidence, isn't it? That's what he needed, Dimmy. Confidence. But yeah, hundred percent, Jimmy. Yeah, hundred percent. Scout runner's gonna be back up in his suite. Yeah. Gets to 3D him though. Another Kaz. Kaz. He's getting the blocks now as well, isn't he? And yeah, if you get the well, blocks, you normally get the remote. Yeah. Yeah. 
And the yeah, problem is, is, he's probably going to have to assist with the gutter runner to get the 2D, and then it's like, what do you do? Like, if you if you do manage to sack him, it's okay. Oh, he snakes! Oh my God, that was bad. Yeah, because he obviously didn't want to assist with the gut runner because he wants to pick it up on the gut runner afterwards, so he does the snotling and then yep. one in, hit one in 36. Sad times. Yep. Got to uh, got to foul the gutter, hasn't he? Surely. He's got no one to foul it with. He's only got bodyguards. Oh no, there's a lino right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he hits the snotling. Yeah. I mean, he could have got a, what a three is. Oh no, the troll's basing it on right now. Yeah. It doesn't foul. Elliot's mighty blow piece has been very <laughs> sad this half. Yep. Oh, oh, oh quad skulls. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh man. man. Wow. The question is, was was Eliod correct to be scared of the knobs, given how this game's gone? Or, you know, would he have done better if he had played without fear of the knobs? It's hard to say, really. Like, I mean, like, if he had it, if he played the game again, would he play it differently? I think, I think the answer is yes. But um, would it have been a different outcome? Like, who knows? Mm. That's the problem. That's the problem, right? Like, you know, it's like this is when, this is when the you know the idiotic comment people make about the Dakar saying it's harder versus good p opponents, and it's like, yeah, but you know, if you try and score a proper drive versus Cruz, that's fucking hard as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> the other thing. That's the other thing as well. It is Cruz as well. Like Cruz, mm. like <clears throat> Cruz is like, I I genuinely rate Cruz really highly. Like I yeah. think. Yeah, exactly, Elliot. So it's the, it's the same thing, but in reverse, right? Like a, a normal drive is hard, and so is a Dakar. So it's yeah, it's uh, it's tough. Snakes, quad snakes. Yeah. I mean, that's enough to lose a game, isn't it? It's that's, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like you you get one round of just horrendous dice, and it's like at this level. Like, I think dice kind of pseudo become more important because it's like you both play like there, there's less mistakes, right? So you, if if your opponent's playing well and you're not rolling well and they're rolling well, it's really hard to win a game of blood bowl. Yeah, there's there's not much advantage to be gained. Whoever's the better, whoever plays the better out of Elliot and Cruz, you know, very unlikely for them to play much better than the other one. So therefore, it's more likely, I think, that the difference is going to be in the dice uh, with like quad skulls and random cars. Which talking of random cars? Yeah, that's uh, that's been on that's been on a uh, cruiser's side so far. Those and he's, I, I genuinely think it's interesting that like the different ways you build underworld are like better and weaker against different opposition, right? It's... Mm. I think I like building for the one turn and then because you, you can yeah. just play the other one as well. Like you can just, yeah. you can just play. It, it, not that much worse, right? Having like some wrestle on your clan rats, it's just not making. I mean, they that still they difference. still get they still get a one turn like yeah. with the troll. It's just a much worse one turn, right? <laughs> oh, only against knobs. Like only against knobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not much worse versus everyone else. If you you know if you fill all the if you fill all the squares and stuff like Eliod knows how to. Um, which some of the people playing in this don't seem to know how to, which is kind of wild. Like they, they kind of should. Everybody, you know, like this is the thing, you know, like if if you know, let's say purple chest, bad example, but let's say purple chest was playing a game. 
you know, him not being able to one turn after playing a thousand games of Dwarves, fair enough. But if Chunter couldn't one turn, you'd be asking serious bloody questions, wouldn't you? So I think like anybody playing a, a bunch of, you know, uh, Skaven or uh, Imperial Nobility, they should have their one turns down. Like massively. Yeah, PC definitely has his one turns down. He's PC's played a, a ton of Underworld on tables. Not, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I said it was a bad example. I said it was a bad example. He's, he's, he's won a few tournaments this year with yeah. Underworld. So yeah, no, I said it was a bad example. Uh, but, you know, the, you get the idea, right? You get the idea. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, yeah. <laughs> as like, soon as I said it, I was like, oh, this is this doesn't work at all. But, <laughs> no, but the idea me. is there. <laughs> oh, he's powered him. No. Oh well, oh my instantly God. fail and cast yourself. Brilliant. I, yeah, that's that's, hor that's horrible. Yeah. So. Uh, sadly, this hasn't been much of a game. Like I genuinely was really hyped for this one, and it's sadly been um, yeah. very one-sided. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Sad. I feel. I feel for Elliot. Is. It? It was a bit rubbish, like the timings, wasn't it? The timings were all a bit like last minute and stuff, and the notice and the when people, certain people had to. Pay oh, wasn't this one? Wasn't this was was this the one that they told him to wait an hour and then didn't watch his game anyway? <laughs> yeah. Or was that a different round? I yeah, that was this one. Yeah, that was this one. Oh man. So yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. What What do you think, Elliot? If you'd taken the Rat Ogre uh, with Juggernaut, do you think that would have made you a lot more confident? It would have been easier to tackle with, right? Because you, like, if he puts the side steppers on the outside, you can surf them and stuff, you know. So it's like it probably makes the dacker against knobs better, and it also makes the one turn possible. Mm. Whereas without it, it's you're looking at for a teammate, right? Yeah, like putting most of your skills package into the one turn and then not being able to one turn at all <laughs> is pretty is pretty rubbish, isn't it? So I think. I mean, not he, he could still one turn, but it's just a throw teammate, right? It's not yeah, yeah, good. true. Yeah, yeah, this throw teammate. Yeah, that's true. Correct. Fuck the rogue runs, I honestly, I I agree with you there, Elliot. I'm not a fan of the rogue. I'm not a fan of the rogue. I couldn't believe when, like, everybody was saying, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, and I'm it, like, what the I, fuck's it, wrong with you? It's rubbish. Like, fucking animal savagery. What the fuck am I going to eat my own players for? Are you mental? <laughs> only on a one. Only on a one. And you're guaranteed that he works. Like, exactly. It, they keep saying this idiotic stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, mate, like, when you play against it, like, it's infuriating when they never roll once. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> But like it is much better than the Minotaur, right? I've played with the Minotaur, like the Chaos Minotaur, not the True of Minotaur, um, and it is much better to be guaranteed to be able to blitz. Like when you really need it, you know that he's going to blitz. Like, like for the one turn, for example, <laughs> like with the Juggernaut, for the one turn, you know he's blitzing, so yeah. it's not like it's with, it's with, with Minotaur. You're like, if I roll a one, that's it. This one turn's over, right? It's just. <laughs> I'm with I'm with Elliot on this 100. percent A lot of my favourite moments from Rogue is eating their own side, yeah, <laughs> and just being able to shout "most reliable big guy in the game" when when it inevitably <laughs> fails something. <laughs> it's it's better one turn. It's better one turn out of 16. It's definitely better one turn out of 16. Uh, you know, normally when it's you know normally during the one turn attempt, uh, you know there'll be games where it's better two or three times. But most of the time, I just think it's worse. The three D uphill. Oh. Love to see it. <laughs> and he's hundred percent the most reliable big guy in the game at killing its own team. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is. You can't argue with that. <laughs> I mean, the uh, the Vargas bloodlust, right? He does. He does. But is he efficient? Is he as efficient as hitting his own players with mighty blow? Uh, yeah. The that, that doesn't use my blow. Yeah, but isn't it? There's no armor roll on the bloodlust, right? It's just a straight. Uh, I see. I can't remember. I, I really don't don't know how any works at all. Okay. 
straight injury. Okay, maybe the Vargeist is better there. At killing its own players. If you if you just stood your Vargeist and activated him every single turn, <laughs> just just try and yeah, eat your yeah, own yeah. players. But you don't like you could and because you could purposely do it, right? You could make like a four plus, couldn't you, to fail the uh, to fail the bloodlust. So you, you could just completely be biting his own players like three times as much and stuff. Well, I guess the Vargeist doesn't have to buy it though. That's the thing, and the Rat Ogre has True. to buy it. Oh well, no, the Rat Ogre doesn't. Like you don't have to have someone next to the Rat Ogre. True. When you blitz, so there, there is, there's some variables in there, right? True. Yeah, I am, I am late, and what I might do is, fingers crossed, we'll get admin tools soon, and then I could do it in Blood Bowl three. Could you imagine that? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? But um, anyway, let let's wrap this up. Commiserations, Elliot. Unbelievable. You know, just dumped out the cup there. That was that was a brutal match. Brutal racial matchup, obviously. In uh, it happened to be. I don't know if there was a. You know, and 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 honestly, Cruz has lost to Underworld in this competition before. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe how much of it was a mental block? How much of it was the not having the roger? How much of it was just it was a bad ma racial matchup for the Underworld? But Cruz yeah, had got how, through how it. You know, it got it, stung in the other ones. High variance. Who knows? How much? How much of it were Nobs ROP, Jimmy? <laughs> not much of it. I don't. I don't think Nobs are OP. I think Cruz is, Cruz is a lot more OP than Nobs. I think Nobs had a great package, honestly. Tier four. Um, I don't think he really played the bad, but yeah, it got diced. To, yeah, it did get diced to fuck. To be honest, yeah, that's true. I would. Say, I think that's a fair assessment. Um, but yeah, I think may, maybe a bit out of your head as well. With like, you know, out of your own head. Is that the? the no, that's not. I don't know. Not, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know, got into your own head a bit, right? Maybe with the thinking about the stand firm and stuff, and maybe weren't right mentally. Who knows? Yeah, Tilting off the face very, of the planet. Went, there we yeah, go. It went very wrong very quickly, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, unfortunate, unfortunate, and uh, commiserations, Elliot. But congratulations, Christopher, who you know gets to live to fight another day. Gets keeps his knobs in the competition. Love to see that. <laughs> and, uh, the, the best knob in the competition. Yeah. Uh, well, the only knob now because we've just seen Keander, uh go out. So there you go. He's flying the flags for the knobs. And uh, thank you very much, Dimmy. Being glorious having you in the booth. I I enjoyed that one, Jimmy. Yeah. I think we're because Elliot lost. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, because Nobs won. Nob's it's won. just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.